What the fuck up, world? What the In fuck a quarter up, mile, world? merge onto I-295 South. How y'all doing, man? Um, real quick, real fast. Um, I, I'm, 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 I have to vent. I have to vent. Because me as a, a so-called black man, I understand, which a, a very few black men do understand, that it's about, of course, taking care of your family. But with our particular uh, people, I'm going to say definitely here on, in America, it's, it's, it's them near 15 to 20 people, each black man. You know what I'm saying? Each black man represents them near 20 people. You know what I'm saying? And I say that to say this. The world can be so fucking stressful not understanding that. You understand? They look at us as regular, nothing ass motherfuckers. Because they damn sure don't look at us as humans. You know what I'm saying? And but that's not even that, that's not even the worst of it. The worst of it is. The shit that's unseen you get from your own family or you get from your own friends. You know what I'm saying? It seems like it's never enough, man. I got this saying, uh, you gotta clear out your backyard, you know what I'm saying, to get to your front yard to make it look good, to make it look clean or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I say that to say this, how can I, how can a, a, a black man do that shit when the world is steady you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about at you. I'm talking about from a mental aspect, a physical aspect. And, I, and right now, I'm just, I'm venting because as a, as a black man, I'm always on the defensive. You understand? And we never get to talk about our vulnerabilities. We never get to talk about our vulnerabilities. A lot of people say, we making excuses, or, or somebody's always trying to come up with a remedy, you understand, instead of hearing a motherfucker out. Some shit might not always need medicine, it might just need communication. But I say that to say this, feeling like I represent a part of some kind of black man out there that relates and feels the same way. We work hard. I don't give a fuck if you deal with drugs or if you go to work or anything in between. And if the shoe doesn't fit, please don't wear it. We talking about motherfucking grassroots motherfuckers who get up there and they got them. Trust me, what's understood ain't got to be said. Black men like myself, you understand? That get up there and deal with the world every day. Get, getting up trying to kick the world's ass. And, and it makes it, what makes it so fucking goddamn just, it makes you cringe worthy is, you can't share your vulnerability. But at the same time, social society is always talking about every other culture's vulnerability. Whether it be Asians or whether it be fucking Africans. You understand? We are always left out of picture. We know that. As African so-called Americans, we know that. You understand? I mean, the smart ones do anyway. It's the shit that we're trying to move beyond that. You know what I'm saying? When we sit up there and try to move beyond that and people still try to keep those labels on us. You understand? When we try to be bigger than that shit. Because I know myself that the mind is way more powerful than the bullshit that these motherfuckers try to put on my back as a black man. Whether it be stress or whatever the fuck ever. You know what I'm saying? It is my job not to let those 20 goddamn people that I represent around me down. But it's very fucking hard when you just, when, when, you, when you deal with everyday bullshit. And it, and, it, and it fucks me up as a black man. I can't be more detailed, you know what I'm saying, about about it, like what, what fucks us up, you know what I'm saying, rather be physically, mentally, whatever the fuck ever, dog, you know what I'm saying, as a black man, 
I'm I'm literally terrified of being fucking judged. And you know what I'm saying? Just letting it all go. This is why a motherfucker like myself be so fucking goddamn just in the mood sometimes. Cause it's certain it, it's like carrying the fucking world on your back, bro. Nobody don't give a fuck about the world on your back, bro. This shit is frustrating, bro. Because as a black man, some sense of me doesn't want to explain why in the fuck I am fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm so angry with a lot of how the world is. Not angry at the world, but how the world is and how it operates. Especially with my people on the surface just to appease the other side. We down each other. But in the face, in, the, in, in front of the TV or whatever, we, we fake and uplift each other. We do the fake uplifting shit. But in the background, we don't give two fucks about each other. We dare each other to look at each other the wrong way. Say something wrong. That's the some, some that's the, that's some of the shit I wanna goddamn bring out to the world. I feel like that's a problem that needs to be solved. We don't talk about the real shit. Everybody want to talk about foreign policies and all that other shit. Let's just talk about one of the many goddamn things that's crippling the fucking black man here in America and, and crippling us from growth. I understand that it, it's powers out there that does not want this group of us black men or whatever to grow. But I'm going to talk while I still have the passion to want to grow. I, I know that the mind is more powerful than the shit that the world presents to me or that I perceive or the, what I intake. And I refuse to motherfucking take the bullshit that they say that I have to take. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to live my best life. Period. But understanding that I know that I have to deal with a lot more atrocities or I have to deal with a lot more just bullshit than the average person that's not my problem my problem is the average person putting more on a motherfucker you know what I'm saying and not recognizing all the weight that's already on a bitch shoulders and I'm talking and, and black men I know if you a black man and you can relate to this shit Please hit that like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. But we'll make it even more worse because we do this. We put up with this shit and, and, and feel like that it's going to get better. better Because it's a faith. It's a faith thing. Knowing that I'm going through this shit and it ain't for nothing. We do that for one thing. Our black women. You understand? We do that shit for our black women. Because we know our black women are not supposed to be on the same level as us. They shouldn't be working the same as us or as hard as us. With the kids, with the, with the school, whatever the fuck ever. This is why myself... And in and, and particular, goddamn black men like myself, we do what the fuck we do. Work two jobs or whatever, whatever. So that black woman won't have to deal with the rest of this aggy ass world. But it's hard as fuck when you have to deal with the black woman and the rest of the world. You understand? All we're asking for is to recognize. You know what I'm saying? What the In fuck two we miles, going through? Use the right two lanes to take exit Just 12 for Planning Boulevard. That's it. We can handle this shit. But to sit up there and act like it's a non-factor or if it's, it's nothing that is it's other shit that's more important than a black man destroying himself year in and year out and everyone ignoring it, please let me know. I might be ranting, but like I said, we do this shit so we can give our black women comfortability. Not so the world can give them 
goddamn food stamps and every goddamn thing, thinking they thinking thinking they need that shit. No, they need us, and we're here. Motherfuckers need to move the fuck out the way so we can handle the job. But I know there's motherfuckers out there that don't want us to handle the job. And I say that's pure fucking jealousy. Because not only can we handle the job, we can do it ten times better than any motherfucker around. And I'm not talking about all black men. I'm talking about particular black men like myself. You understand? And it's levels to this shit. Because it's better black men than myself. And it's, you know what I'm saying, lesser black men than myself that are fucking trying. But we need the recognition. We need to be recognized as far as like motherfucker we exist. That's all I'm saying. In half a mile, I, use the right two lanes to take exit 12 for Blanding Boulevard. I'm just rambling. And um... <sighs> Tell you the truth, it fucking feels good to get this shit off my chest. Because we do so much of the suppressing shit. Even when we, you know what I'm saying? We call ourselves fighting back. Use you know the right saying? two lanes to take exit 12. We're really suppressing the shit how we really fucking feel. And how we really feel, I'm not even feeling, I'm not even saying it. The way the black man feels, dog, is, is, is the equivalent of a roar of a fucking lion. It will shape the fucking jungle around the world. Nobody wants us to roar. As soon as we fucking roar, we're being too mean. You're not talking, nobody wants to understand us. And it's sad because our black people do it. You understand our language, you understand our aggression. But you have learned through this Obama politically correctness shit to ignore that shit. So now, I shit just fall on deaf ears, period. We can't talk with passion. So where the fuck do we go from here? Fuck a freedom of speech. How can I solve a problem and I can't talk? I can't express what I'm going through. It has to be related to something fucking else. How are Grand Rising, man? I just got an opinion. Y'all know I'm not trying to say the world, but please like, share, and subscribe, bro. If you feel the same, man, let me know. In a quarter mile.